The Earth, our only home, sustains a population of 7 billion people. Its climate has been changing. We witness erratic monsoon and untimely rain, warming oceans and melting polar ice caps. Surface air temperature has risen 0.8 degrees since the 1880s. Erratic weather patterns continue to wreak havoc through droughts, floods, cyclones and unprecedented heat waves. India, South Asia and small island states are among the worst affected, having to bear the burden of carbon emissions from decades of unsustainable and irresponsible consumption of energy, generated from fossil fuels by the developed countries. Ranked among the fastest growing economies in the world, with high demand for energy in industry and infrastructure, India still remains a predominantly agrarian society and accounts for barely 3% of the cumulative carbon emissions. Battling the challenges of climate change as they pursue their ambitions and aspirations, India's 1.2 billion people, led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his government, have taken a giant leap of faith and are already setting global benchmarks with their model of responsible development. अगर हम climate change की चिंता करते हैं, तो कहीं न कहीं हमारे निजी सुख को सुरक्षित करने की बू आती है। लेकिन यदि हम climate justice की बात करते हैं, तो गरीबों को प्राकृतिक आपदाओं से सुरक्षित रखने का संवेदनशील संकल्प उभर करके आता है। क्लाइमेट चेंज की चुनौती से निपटने में उन समाधानों पर बल देने की आवश्यकता है जिनसे हम अपने उद्देश्यों को प्राप्त करने में सफल हो सके हमें एक वैश्विक जनभागीदारी का निर्माण करना होगा जिसके बल पर टेक्नोलॉजी इनोवेशन और फाइनेंस का उपयोग करते हुए हम clean or renewable energy ko sarvasulabh bana sake. India's pledge to meet 40% of its power needs from renewable sources by the year 2030 with the target of generating 175 gigawatts from wind, solar, biomass and hydropower sources. Having launched several alternate energy projects, India is now the world's fifth largest producer of wind and solar power. An ambitious government initiative has begun the process of replacing 770 million incandescent bulbs in homes and 35 million street lights with LED bulbs. When completed in 2019, this will reduce consumers' annual electricity bills by over 6 billion US dollars and will reduce carbon emissions to the tune of 84 million tons and save 22,000 megawatts of power. The government has begun closing down inefficient coal-fired power plants and replacing them with green alternatives. Heavy industries have been made accountable through energy audits and an energy labeling program. The National Green India Initiative is working towards the reforestation of 6 million hectares of degraded forest lands. The target is to increase the forest cover from 23% to 33% of India's territory and create a carbon sink to handle 3 billion tons of carbon dioxide. Plans are in place for climate adaptation in agriculture using technology and innovation. Climate resilient crops and new sustainable agricultural practices are being introduced to make water use more efficient and ensure more grains per drop. A program has been launched for cleaning up and rejuvenating 40 rivers spread across 20 states. A strict urban waste management regime is on the anvil to ensure recycling and generation of power from waste. The government is bringing in measures making it mandatory 
that new buildings, especially high-rises in urban areas, are energy efficient and practice water harvesting. Green buses using CNG and metros are already in use in several cities. There is a 30% subsidy on two-wheeler, three-wheeler and four-wheeler electric vehicles. Migration to Euro 6 has been advanced to 2021. This will promote cleaner fuels and guarantee lower emissions. India's plan has a 360-degree perspective of a growing economy which seeks to revisit every aspect of the life of its citizens and reduce the emissions intensity of its GDP by 33 to 35 percent by 2030. This will save 10 million tons of carbon emission per day. That is 3.65 billion tons of carbon emission per year. This is a huge contribution from India. Its GDP will grow rapidly, yet emissions will be reduced. This is a blueprint for the future that cannot be brought to life without support from the developed countries, whose history of unrestrained carbon emission has thrust this situation upon the rest of the world. Even if we calculate emissions after 1990, India is not part of the problem, but still we want to be part of solution. But the solution lies in common but differentiated responsibility. Developed world will have to walk the talk on finance and technology transfer. At the same time, they will have to vacate the carbon space. The global discourse needs to be elevated to just climate action that ensures inclusive and responsible development in harmony with nature. Join hands with India. Save the future.